Quetzalcoatl returns. The ancient astronaut theory and the teaching of theologians alike look to the prehistoric legend of watchers to discuss the Anunnaki, the Nephilim, and the creation of mutant DNA following Earth visitations by gods. We find the Egyptians originally migrated from the biblical land of Shinar, which means the land of the watchers. The Egyptians called it ta Nater, the land of the watchers, from which the gods came into Egypt. In the Book of the Dead, there are prayers for deliverance from the watchers, who came from ta Ur, the faraway land. The Sumerian scribes referred to the watchers as Anunnaki, which they said came from Nibiru, to judge and rule the inhabitants of the earth. Some interpret this Nibiru as a distant planet, while others say it should be translated. So right now we're actually involved in what they call a, uh, it's a once in a two millennial event. In other words, this is incredibly rare, but from 2014 to 2015, there's a tetrad of four blood moons, and all of them fall on Jewish feast days, and all of them within a Shemitah year. Shemitah years, you can go back to Leviticus chapter 25, God commanded his people not to plant the fields on the seventh year, and this is to be a Sabbath year to rest and honor God. And during this year, all debts are supposed to be forgiven, slaves set free, the land is to rest, and the economy of the land will be reduced. Shemitah years can bring down economies, kingdoms, or nations that do not follow God's will. However, if a nation follows God's will during this time, a nation can be great. 2015. And of course, in September of 2014, we started a brand new Shemitah year. And this happened in connection with the Tetrad of the Four Blood Moons, which all occur on Jewish feast days. So many are concerned because, as it's pretty obvious, uh, the United States has turned away from God and godly principles, and have certainly endorsed a much more sinful nature. It's very possible, many people believe, that God's judgment will fall on America during this year of the Shemitah. Now, something else to consider, a lot of people have been talking about asteroid impact, about an asteroid showing up uh, around September 2015. Different reasons why people are thinking this asteroid is going to come. NASA has mentioned a few things about this as well. But like I said, it's hard to say. I mean, anytime there's real information like that coming out, there's going to be tons of disinfo to follow, right? So it's always going to be hard to tell. But really, the main thing when it comes to the asteroid impact or any potential asteroid hitting the Earth, when it comes to that idea, there is something I can show you that uh, I think is pretty interesting. And here it is. I've shown you guys this in a couple other videos as well. I think a lot of us forgot that this happened, but outgoing Department of Homeland Security Secretary Janet Napolitano, and this is back in 2013, warned of a serious cyber attack and an unprecedented natural disaster. So the cyber attack is interesting. You know, some may say it already happened. Just a few weeks back, there was a big story out there all through the news about China conducting some form of cyber attack on the American federal government and getting a list of all the names of the people that work there. So I don't know, you know, was that the cyber attack or will there be something else? But aside from that, we have this unprecedented natural disaster, the likes of which the nation has never seen. So is she referring to this possible asteroid impact? And then, of course, let's not forget that we have Pope Francis visiting the White House. It's his first trip to America, and he's coming September 23rd. And what's more is the Pope, the Jesuit Pope, many people believe could be the false prophet from Revelation, and I would say at the very least is a wolf in sheep's clothing. I've done some videos on him in the past, and I'll do more in the future. There's plenty to show you on, on the Jesuit Pope. So on the 25th of September, he'll be addressing a... UN General Assembly of all world leaders. And on the 24th, he'll be addressing the American... 2015. A massive 6.9 earthquake rocked Japan off an island chain south of Tokyo. The depth of the quake was 480 kilometers. Now I tell you before it comes, but when it is come to pass, ye may believe that I am he. June 14, 2015. Prophecy, June 14, 2015. In this spirit, the Lord reveals a massive earthquake upon Japan region shortly. It is wise to take all precaution where possible. 
Mankind needs to repent of our sins and turn to Jesus Christ, God Almighty, the only one who can credibly reveal things to come. John 13. There's a war going on. The Bible says the war is declared. The devil's declared war. There's an angry devil coming down, the scripture says in this chapter. He has great wrath, and he's going to send out a flood. When the dragon saw that he was cast to the earth, he persecuted the woman which brought forth the man child. The man child is the church of Jesus Christ. The Bible makes it very clear that the devil in the last day, the war that he declares is on the church, that they may be carried away, the scripture says, he's going to send this flood of filth, lust, temptation, he's going to come against the physical body, he's going to come against the mind, he's going to come against everything, to carry them away, the Bible says, they may be carried away with the flood. And we see many being carried away today. He, he has, bought, he, he has take, literally taken over television. Was filled. Cultures and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. This is a sign that we are living in the last days. We are just around the corner. Very soon we are going to see the king. Very soon. It's right around the door. All the signs that I mentioned are already here. It's already here. We need to realize how close this clock is to getting toward the midnight hour. And I think that's why for our sake, for the sake of our family, for our nation, for the next generations, we need to cry out to a holy God. Um, this is coming faster than anyone can see. I know I, I worked very hard on the Intelligence Committee to try and keep up with what was happening in the world. It got to such a crescendo, I could hardly keep up with it anymore. The events have picked up such a pace and are going to continue. It's just like the Bible forewarned that at the, in the last days it will be like the beginning of birth pangs. In my opinion, we are far beyond the beginning of birth pangs. We're moving far down into the process. For women who are listening, you know what I'm yeah. talking about. It is his number one goal to ensure that Iran has a nuclear weapon. Why? Why would you put the nuclear weapon in the hands of madmen who are Islamic radicals who believe it's their religious duty to bomb Israel and to bomb the United States. That is where we're headed right now. And that's why the best thing that we can do is have churches and pastors explain our times. Believers need to get our lives 
right with God, and then we intercede. We intercede and intercede, and then not despair, but rejoice that we get to be living in the most exciting time Absolutely. in history. Prophets said, we look to the future. We long to see those days and live in those days. Why? Because it's the return of a soon and coming king. Jesus Christ is coming back. We, in our lifetimes, potentially could see Jesus Christ returning to earth. This is one of the most exciting times in history. We need to be exactly watching the tenor of the times, be observing, and look up our redemption draw off night. These are wonderful times, but we see the destruction, but this is the destruction that was foretold. If the Bible is simply a book of myths, fairy tales, and stories, then it is disturbingly accurate in describing what we see unfolding in our current world climate. In my personal journey, I've come to the conclusion that the biblical worldview best explains the origin of evil and its many symptoms to mankind. It explains human suffering and the inescapable reality of death and decay that we experience in this world. But most importantly, it reveals why mankind has used deception as its most powerful and reliable instrument to carry out the plan set in motion by an ancient hate. This sacred mission of the world elite has been the primary motivation for the establishments of several layers upon layers of systems in this world. The following sectors are the major components of infiltration in this plan. They include the political, economic, military, scientific, educational, technological, and social facets, with the spiritual ideologies being the main ingredient guiding this massive deception. Many of these facets overlap and build on each other. Using these various components of human society, the world elite are tirelessly working to allow the formation of a one-world currency, massive depopulation, a one-world religion, and of course, a one-world government. With the speed at which things are changing and evolving, never in human history has this plan been more attainable than today. But as I sorted through the many tentacles of this plan, I found that not only are we, the people of the world, victims, but the people who promote and continue to instigate the new world order and the promise of a new age are perhaps the most deceived and are the ultimate victims.